Hello everybody and welcome to another video. And today, you might be wondering, what's this? This is a brand new world? Well, yes it is. Now, as you remember, I made a GP38 and I got a, a lot of hate on that video because of how ugly it looked, apparently. But whatever, I, and because of that, I deleted that. So, in honor, I will be remaking well, not remaking, but I have made a BNSF GP38-2 locomotive. Um, I am improving just a little bit. Um, not too much, not heavily, but a little bit. Um, so, I guess we let's get started. So, the blocks you're going to need are red nether brick, black carpet bed, rock black stained glass, hopper, light gray wool, smooth stone slab, smooth stone, polished andesite stairs, oak, oak wood fat sign, oak sign, um, acacia wood stairs, item frame, white stained glass, nether brick fence, orange concrete, black concrete, yellow concrete, and red. Uh, red, I'm pretty sure it is. Red nether brick concrete. Now, if you're doing this in survival, this is going to be a very expensive because of the concrete. Well, you can't really build it because you have to have bedrock, and you can't get bedrock in survival, so you can't really do this in survival unless you use some, like, something else for the vents on the locomotive. But, um, so yeah, let's get started. So we're going to so we're going to take our black concrete or smooth yeah let's just take our black concrete and make a shape oh, I just realized something here in the back um let's take our oh there guys get I forgot to put this in the back Pepsi Daisy um, so you're going to take your black stain concrete, no, and then you want to make a shape. You want to make three on the bottom and five on the top. Another brick here and here, upside down, just like that. And then place smooth stone slab right there to make the coupling. So, then we're going to take our black concrete and put it like this and then five five on the bottom and five on the top I forgot the name of uh, not the name I'm sorry I forgot the how long the locomotive is so I'm gonna have to count the blocks off screen I'll be right back so I just counted this and this is 29 blocks long but before we do that let's uh, grab our smooth no not smooth you know what yeah Let's take our red nether brick slab and add it here, here, and here. Then we're going to do that on the exact same side, just like that. So this is three, so we're going to have the rest. So three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So 29. And then on the 29, on the 28th block, you want to break it and then do the same exact thing what we did over on the other side. Just like that. this. There we go. So it should look like, there we go. So the other side should look like the front, unless you're doing it. There we go. There we go. So then, uh, just go ahead, just go ahead and fill in this, the, the, um, thing the fill in the middle all the way across this, it should look something like this now let's move on to the wheel so you're going to take your light gray wool and go right here and place light gray wool right here 
and skip one right here and skip one more right here and do this on the other side right there 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 and then you're going to take your hoppers and put the hopper on the light gray wool just like this same on this side and then in between slabs your slab now you can you you can either use your ne red nether brick or smooth stone i'm using my s smooth stone for this there you go place it just like that and then do this on the other side so just in between this not on Yeah, broke the hopper. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. So that's how you make that. Then you want to take your black concrete, skip one, and then make a three right here. And then just go ahead and take it all the way over here. And then, just like the other side, you want to leave this open. Then you want to take your another brick, and then just go ahead and play your another brick stairs, and then place them upside down, just like this. There you go. There's the bottom half done. So now we're gonna work on the top half. So you're gonna take your another brick fence, and go ahead and place it just like this. Sorry about that person that just ran by. So you're gonna place your fence like this and like this. Uh, not right there, actually. I messed up. I'm very sorry. Just realized my mistake. So you're gonna take it right over here and then place it like this, and then do the same on the other side. And then you want to go to your front. And, or you want to go to your front. Now I'm going to place the front over here. So you're going to take your orange concrete and your yellow concrete. So you want to take your orange concrete and go to the very. So you want to skip. So you want to go here and skip one. So it should be like this. And then place it back by two. And then have the yellow go all the way around. And then have the orange go on to the top. So it should look like that. Going back to make sure. Now you want to, okay, five. So then you want to go here and then go by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Over here as well. So then what you want to do is Go up by four. So one, two, three, four. Just like this, where there's one block over the nose. Sorry about that. And then, what you want to do? So then, uh, let's place orange just down here, like that. And then go back by three so one one two three and then place it up like that just like that whatever sorry i worded that very weird and then you want to fill in the bottom but not all the way to here you want to leave that open perfect so that should look like this then you're gonna go ahead and make the orange overlap this part just along the side right here and then all the way back right there so it should look like this then you're gonna go ahead and take your acacia wood fence go ahead. let's go ahead and take your acacia wood fence and on these two these blocks you want to place it just like this and then wrap these the nether brick fencing all the way back here, here. 
Mm. Here we go. Place it just like that. So it should look like this, and that's the fencing, like in real life, sort of. So you're gonna take your yellow concrete and go, well, actually no, take your orange concrete, and from the stair, you wanna go one, two, three, and then make this shape. And then once you, once you make your three blocks like this with your orange, uh, Concrete, you want to take your yellow concrete and place it in a shape like this the T shape tetra cube or whatever. Then you want to go back by two and then put it on the top and then go back by another two. Sorry, that's my soda. I'm using it to hold the camera. No, I was buried. Whatever. And then, so you want to make it like this. So I'll, I'll, I'll play it back if you didn't if you didn't see it. So so touch your piece like this, and then block full block like this, and then three, and then one on the third block, just like that. Then you're gonna copy this, but place it over on this side. So the touch your cubes here. The the yellow block is still gonna be in the middle, but then this is gonna be a there. That's the BNSF logo right there. Oh, I forgot to put the orange concrete here. That's not really a big problem. Since we're going to, uh, well, whatever, there. Just have it like that if you want to or not. But I would suggest put it there. So then you want to take your orange concrete and fill it in on the very back, just like this. Going so just like that. There. Then you're gonna take your black stained glass paint and put it two there, three there, and two here. I think right? Yeah, yeah. Making sure. So like that. Then you want to take your polished andesite stairs and place them along the sides of this, um, along the sides of the roof, and then take your smooth stone and then place it just like this right above. And that's the roof of the cab. Then you wanna take your orange concrete and then just take it all the way across like this. And then you're gonna take your nether brick, uh, your red nether brick, a slab and then go ahead and place it all along the line here whoops sorry it turned to night time so there we go fill in the roof perfectly like this then you're going to take your bedrock and go ahead and align, so you wanna to go to the very back and then skip one right here and two. Two, remove two blocks of orange concrete and then fill it up with bedrock like that. Then you wanna go ahead, You then you want to go ahead and take your item frame and white stained glass and place it on the, on, so go to the front and then place it just like that. Then you wanna place two item frames right here and place it like that for the front headlights. I'm pretty sure that's what I put. Oh no, never mind. Get rid of the bottom one and it should only be one. So that's the front headlight. And then go to the very back and then on the very top, two, just like this. And then I think we're done. Nope. We're not done yet. I just remembered two things that were missing. So you want to take black carpet and then place it on the top of the nose of the locomotive right here. Then you want to take your uh, oak sign and on here you can place in whatever number. I'm just going to go five six seven six five six six seven and then place it on the other side as well. 
and then go to the very back and place it here and here just like that so it should look something like this so then if you want to you can place the signs here or you can just place black concrete just like that there if you want to. I think I might place signs there later if you want. If you want to, that's your choice, but whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah. Oh my goodness, I just got the outro so mixed up. So that's how you, f that's, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video on how to build this locomotive and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.